Jane and I made it back from our trip to New England, uh, back to North Carolina. And I was really surprised at how many people we ran into uh, down here in the South that said, oh man, I'd just love to go to New England, but uh, you know, they've been to Europe and England and some to Paris, and, and uh, yet they, they haven't quite made it to New England. It's on their list. So I have a feeling that maybe uh, some of that is because people aren't comfortable with going somewhere they're not sure of, of how and where to go and where to stay. And you can read the books and such, but it's always nice to hear from someone who's uh, uh, ventured out ahead of you, so or ventured out uh, and explored a little bit before uh, you went. So Jane and I had never been to New England either, uh, but we had some uh, good referrals from, my goodness, hundreds of people on YouTube and on Twitter. And uh, of course, her folks have toured around England, uh, New England and uh, they gave us some really great advice. So I'm just going to share with you our trip, and you can take it uh, or, or leave it, and we'll tell you what we did and where we went and that sort of thing. Uh, uh, to familiarize you with New England, uh, we have the Ultimate New England Travel Guide for Southern People map. For most folks in the South, if you're going to come up to New England, uh, you want to start. New England, first of all, is this section here. These six states that are Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. So it's right over uh, past anything past New York. But if you're coming from the south like we did down in North Carolina, we started in Winston-Salem. It's about a 13 or 14 hour drive to get to the point where you stop and then you tour New England. So. What we would advise, what we did was we stopped halfway. And we had a couple choices. Uh, we could stop uh, in DC or we could stop and see Baltimore. You know, I mean, while you're taking the trip, you might as well uh, see something on the way and on the way back. So what we did was we came up 40, hit um, 95. Once you're on 95, that's all you just stay on 95. We went up through Richmond, Virginia, and we stayed in Baltimore, Maryland. When we stayed downtown and we stayed right across from the Bromo Seltzer Clock. We walked down to the Inner Harbor. Uh, we uh, went and saw the row houses and um, we just went all over Baltimore that evening. And then, of course, early in the morning before we took off, we did too. But we went down to uh, Janet's Old Stomping Grounds in Glen Burnie and ate at Ann's Dairy Cream, which is uh, a restaurant that's been there oh my goodness, for, for dozens and dozens of years. And uh, they have these wonderful cheesesteak sandwiches that are like no other. And if you go to Baltimore, go to Glen Burnie, it's not far, it's just a little south of the city, and eat at Ann's Dairy Cream. The next day, we came up and uh, uh, got back on 95. Of course, there's a lot of tolls. And I think it's kind of funny, we were uh, expecting tolls, so I got a roll of quarters and, which was ten dollars and quarters, but these tolls were a lot more than that. So one toll alone was nine dollars coming through New Jersey, and uh, of course that was a, the most expensive one. But we decided, since I had never been up north, uh, that we would go through right through downtown New York City, and we went across the Washington Bridge, and uh, we sat there for a while. So it was kind of cool for me to see everything. We didn't New York wasn't part of our plan. Uh, but it was nice, I, I did enjoy seeing it. And uh, then we came along um, uh, 95 Southern Connecticut. And one last stop that I would recommend um, before you get to Rhode Island, which I should say, Rhode Island's where we stayed for a few days. And that's kind of where we anchored our trip. So we were heading to Rhode Island, but we stopped in Mystic, Connecticut, which is a great little seaport. And uh, of course you hear uh, Mystic Connecticut from Mystic Pizza, the movie and that sort of thing, but it's great. That's great to stretch your legs. They're shopping there. You can go downtown. They have a drawbridge, uh, a beautiful waterfront. There's shops. Uh, uh, it's a really nice stopover, and I would highly recommend stopping in Mystic Connecticut. But then from there, you're just, you know, uh, an hour or two away uh, from Rhode Island. Well, in Rhode Island, um, we stayed in Newport, and I will go into that in more detail later, but from there we went to Boston, went up to Portsmouth, New Hampshire, went to um, the L.L. Bean Place in Maine, went over to Bar Harbor, 
and stayed a few days. And then we took the mountain road uh, over the uh, Highway 2, over through New Hampshire, stayed in Stowe, Vermont, went to Mount Pillar, went down south. Um, on our way back, we came through Connecticut, uh, cut over and stayed uh, near the Poconos. Then we went through Scranton and uh, stopped in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And then we came to Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. Oh, that should be over here. Over here, Harpers Ferry. And then we came on home. So our route went all the way up 95 to Bar Harbor, over to Vermont, back down to Connecticut, Pennsylvania. But you could do it a new number of different ways. Uh, as long as once you get up into New England, you circle those six states and uh, we'll cover where we went and what we did. So see you in Rhode Island.